So we are out in the middle of nowhere in Utah. It's about close to a town called Tooele. We're at the Bonneville Sea Base, and I'm joined with my friend Kyle here, who is my dive buddy. And we're gonna be diving today in pretty much kind of like this. It's like a little oasis in Utah, basically, because it's salt water, and there's actually like tropical fish in here and stuff. And yeah, I'm just super excited to see how it is because you don't expect to find a place like this in the middle of Utah. Ready? Yeah. Yep, let's do it. I'm cool. excited. Sea Base has four different pools for you to try out your diving skills. The first is White Rock Bay, which is underneath this kind of a canopy, and it's also one of the warmer pools, and it's also where you'll find the most fish. Then through a little tunnel, it connects with Habitat Bay and the Trench. Habitat Bay goes down to about 24 feet, and under there you'll also find plenty of little fish to look at, and also a sunken boat that you can kind of swim around. From Habitat Bay you can enter the trench. The trench is a fairly shallow area, however it's a great and long stretch of water where you can practice your diving skills and your swimming and just kind of, you know, relax a little bit. Then the last pool is the Abyss. It's the only one we didn't go into, however it is made for some deep water training. It goes down to 62 feet deep, so you can practice your deep water diving, practice your safety stops, and just overall experience a deeper dive than you would for the other three pools. If you don't have your own scuba gear or just chose not to bring it, don't worry, because the Bonneville Sea Base has an awesome little shop where you can rent all the gear that you would need in order to dive there. Or even if you have some missing pieces to your gear, you're safe there too. And while you're there, in addition to your gear, you can also pick up some fish food so when you get in the water you are swarmed by all the little fishes so you can really see them. Okay, we are back up on the surface and we're just chilling in the dive shop. We, you know, return all the equipment, put everything away, and then we're just kind of taking a nice little breather. And so yeah, what'd you think? Um, I'm nice. Was... I always like being under the water. I always like just the sensation of breathing, swimming around with the fish and everything. I thought it was really cool. I mean, being out here in the Utah desert and then you're a bit practically in the ocean with a lot of all the fish around. I mean, it was a little hard to see underwater, but that's all right. It was still fun either way. Yeah, I agree. I mean, like as soon as you go into the pool, like you were just swarmed by these like, um, what were the yellow fish called? Um, Mollies. Mollies, Thank you. yeah. You're swarmed by these little mollies that 
you know, they just swim up to you and they, they're not even like afraid of you. They don't try to swim away. They're just nibbling at you. One even nibbled on my GoPro a little bit. And yeah, it was just super cool. Uh, the visibility is a little bit lower, so you kind of have to orient yourself and try to figure out where you are because it's hard to see any kind of like landmarks or anything like that. But overall, it's still really cool. And like Kyle said, like being out here in the middle of the desert in Utah and having like salt water and ocean type fish, it's just kind of weird because you're surrounded by mountains around here and all of a sudden you're just like, oh, look at that. And, and you're swimming with the fishes. I mean, the just, location out here, just driving around and all the highways and stuff like that, unless you know what you're looking for, you would just totally miss this and not even know it's there. Yeah, for sure. It's a little bit out of the way, but it is a super awesome place. So if you're like a fan of diving, a fan of, you know, just snorkeling or just want to see some like tropical fish and you don't live somewhere near an ocean or just looking for something totally new or different, this is a pretty cool place to stop by. All right, so we dove and after diving, I'm always starving. And I need some food, Kyle. Yeah, no. You need food too. It's it for some reason floating there underwater just takes it out of you, and you always gotta you've got like a big hunk or hand cream for munchies when you get out. Oh, yeah, for sure. So we're gonna go get some food, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy this little dive video. And remember, it's called the Bonneville Sea Base. It's about an hour, maybe 45 minutes away from Salt Lake City. So if you're in Salt Lake and you're looking for a saltwater diving place. Check this out because it was pretty cool. Anyways, we're gonna go grab some food. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you next time. And maybe Kyle will too. Yep. Peace.